Hello, YouTube. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host Corey, and I pop the chart, and I am live from the hotel in Florida. As I uh, get ready to turn the music down here, give me one second. I'll bring this back a little bit. Working with the TV right here and the setup and the mic and my laptop right up here in the hotel. Yeah, we just got in just a uh, just a few hours ago, so I got set up. I even got my look at this. I'm still rocking my 7-Eleven Slurpee. That's right. We don't really have too many 7-Elevens out where uh, where I'm from, so we got to kind of kind of deal. We got to deal with it. But so we come down here. I get the slurpiness, all the slurpiness, all the slurpiness. That's right. And uh, y'all missed it. For all my regulars, you missed it. The wedding was awesome. It was beautiful. The wedding was absolutely gorgeous. I may have had one too many adult beverages last night, but <laughs> super stoked to get into the Sunday edition. We're a little early. I know originally I said 9 p.m., but I was like, you know what? It's a beautiful day out. It's beautiful out. We decided not to go out for dinner tonight. Uh, we're going to try to enjoy the pool. Enjoy the pool. And uh, some family's already down at the pool. Uh, they just, right as soon as we checked in, bam, right to it. Uh, of course, I got everything set up because I wanted to make sure everything was working. Uh, tested out. Everything seemed to be working good. Um, hopefully, you can hear me on the other end. Uh, it seems like it's working, so we'll just we'll just go with it until someone says it doesn't. Uh, but, yes, you're looking at everything on your screen right now. We're checking out as I pull the music down a little bit more. It's a little loud here. Uh, first and foremost, I have to say I am not a financial advisor. Cannot tell you what to do with your money. You got to make your own decisions. And you got to invest in the market at your own risk. So keep that in mind. Uh, but yes, like I said, we got in. We're ready to rock. And uh, it's just uh, super nice here at the uh, at the resort here in Orlando. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. It's supposed to rain. So as I said, I figured uh, we'll get in here a little early. And we'll get the show in. Uh, first and foremost, let's get a recap of what we missed. What I missed on Friday okay so I got to pull it up here taking a look at uh, we're gonna go straight into we're gonna AMC first AMC looks like it uh, ended the day at nine dollars and thirty three cents uh, it was up five point seven six percent on the day with 40 mil in volume had a high of 1003 a low of 909 and then uh, started to run up a little bit in the after hours went up uh, three cents there went up to 936 uh, so that's where it currently stands. You can see the little drop off right there into the open and then just kind of flat out for the rest of the day. Uh, however, uh, GameStop doing something a little different. It had like a G-Dub formation, you know, coming up into the after hours all the way into the pre-market uh, right there on Friday uh, while I was at the, uh, the airport on the plane flying here to Florida. Uh, but uh, taking a look at it, it ended up uh, finishing the day. It was one $154.69 down 1.2% for the day. Went into the after hours and closed the after hours at $160.99. Up 4.7% with 5.21 mil in volume. So it did have a little bit of a run up. Look at this. G dub went down, to double bottom, came right up. So it's just a little above that 155 line that we've been watching for a while, but it is hanging in there. Uh, so we are uh, still following AMC and GameStop. And then we've been, uh, here's the other thing. Now, now this is crazy. So D DLPN and HOFE, as we're looking at the uh, the one hour chart right here, you can see that they're very similar, very similar in uh, in the way they move. So look, look, look at this. The pre-market, it comes down. Same thing, comes down, flats out, comes up, and then rolls like a little bit. Like So these two were almost identical. Uh, DLPN ended up, uh, let's see here, uh, $9.15 15 uh, to end the day. And they went into after hours, went up $0.05. Cents, so got, got a nickel in the after hours of $9.20. Uh, had 1.36 mil in volume on uh, on the day there. So it's uh, HOFV. Uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little bummed, all right? I'm a little bummed. Because I'm looking at this price right now, I'm thinking, oh, I could have averaged down a little bit more. I could average down a little more on HOFE. So, uh, taking a look at it. So, there's that. This is the recap. Uh, $3.13 down 4.28%. And it makes me want to go like this. <laughs> that's, all I can, that's all I can say right now. I'm just like, what is this? What is this right now? What is this? And then uh, after hours, $3.08 down another 1.60%. So, it is getting ever so close to that $3 mark on HOFV uh, so it's it's falling down at some point it's got to find a floor and when it does and breaks that chart I'm be I'll be happy but uh, so bag I'm, I'm a glorified bag holder along with some of my other peeps up here in the show we glorified bag holders 
Uh, but uh, anyway, again, so now today's show is tomorrow's day trades today. So what I'm about to go into uh, after I finish up the recap, I'm going to explain to you uh, exactly how this goes, alright? If you, if you didn't get a chance to watch any of my previous shows, so what I'm going to do is I have some stocks. I already have them ri written down. They're right here. Uh, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight stocks that made the stock screener. Alright, eight stocks. I got eight stocks I'm going to go through. Uh, we're going to chart them out and uh, these are going to be ideal day trades for, for tomorrow. Uh, so this is uh, opportunities. Uh, they may again, they may pan out, they may not. Uh, but I will give you the levels to watch, and you can take those levels, write them down, and uh, set some alerts, and uh, go from there. Uh, to finish the recap, by the way, uh, so we're just going down the list here. Look at some of the other ones. Uh, it looks like uh, Cinedime uh, was uh, down two percent in the after hours. So let's see, uh, it was a dollar twenty-two. CSCW is a dollar sixteen and went up. Wise Key at nine of four. Uh, let's see Rocket twenty two. Uh, see Ship was at ninety one cents. Uh, we had some run up, but also oh 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 don't forget about Doge. Look at Dogecoin. I'm losing my mind on Dogecoin. I sold at seven cents and like three days later, three days later, sixty cents. Dogecoin went to like sixty cents. I'm like what? What? I was about to lose my mind. Now it's sitting at 32 cents. This rocket right now, 32 cents. Look at that. Look at Ethereum. Look at Ethereum. Is it? Look at that. Yeah, it's up two percent. Bitcoin's moving back up. It did. It was down a little. Uh, I know it was over 60. It's over 60k. Uh, it went up pretty high. So, man, Whew. Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase looks like it moved just a hair up. Uh, so let's see. We got back up a little bit there. 342. Uh, but that was your. That's your recap right there. Uh, and uh, so awesome now let's get into it the day trades what you've been waiting for right here I'm gonna go to the uh, single chart here I'm gonna pull it up and the very first day trade very first day trade is CLOV Clover Health came across the uh, the screener let's take a look at it we're looking at it on the one hour chart keep this in mind this is the one hour chart uh, and uh, look at it it's a nice movement I mean, it kind of came down a little bit. So what we look for in some of these day trades, by the way, is we're wanting it to uh, hit a high and close somewhere near the high. This one is in, 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 in. So it didn't close near the high. Uh, so it did have a pullback, but it had a nice run up in the after hours. And it's on a kind of a pretty cool flag uh, trending formation here. So what I'm going to do uh, with this stock is I'm going to take and uh, I'm going to pull up my drawing here. I'm going to pull some lines. Let's put some trend line here. Okay, so uh, this was the top. All right, 10.03. Put it right about 10:03. If I can get this there, my mouse is being a little goofy, but we'll get it. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a ascending level of support right here. So we've got ascending level, and actually it's more like this, right coming down into here. Okay, this seems to be more the line that's rocking. But if we uh, we end up pulling this out to here, you got it into that ascending level. And uh, so here's some other previous levels too. So like you can see right there is a solid level. I mean, if, if you really look at it, you can set it right there. Cause you got that's touching, that's touching, that's touching, that, that, that's, I mean, that's solid. Now look, it's breaking. And so here's where it was and it ran up to 10.03. So here's the deal. This thing could continue, all right, in the pre-market moving upward. And maybe shoot up, and if it breaks that 10:03, see ya, good night, it's gone. And look at this, it's uh, so it's it's looking like it keeps goes up, comes back down. So I mean, it's setting up. So I have to keep an eye on it. But that right there is a potential day trade. So what I would do in this situation, uh, when I when I pull these up here, uh, which I didn't type it in the top, I typed it over here. Uh, so I'm going to type this in again. And hit enter and it's up here now I would take this and I would say um, add the watch list and I'm gonna add that to my day trades and I say yo there's a day trade so uh, there's that uh, by the way if you're uh, if you're in the channel make sure you uh, come in to say hi I got the live chat it is open you're more welcome to uh, introduce yourself uh, say hi or ask any questions I am completely open open book right now uh, as I go through these day trades uh, another thing, uh, no, this is the very next one. All right, next one. So we, we checked uh, CLLOV off the list. 
we're gonna go to uh, E B O N, uh, which is E Bang. That's right, E Bang. My uh, Ben, who comes to my show, oh, Ben's gonna get excited when he hears that. E Bang, E Bon. That's right. It is uh, it is in the day trade list, and it is ready to rock. Let's take a look see, and it looks it looks pretty nice. It's it's setting up nice for the day trade. Setting up nice, right? Right here. Here's the high. At, uh, right there and if you notice we've previously leveled this thing and I just I just literally went up and drew this but if you look this this thing's was falling right down that list and then just started running uh, so it is it is pretty well breaking out of a channel uh, so it's already you know kind of hit that floor and it's coming back up here's the thing look at this look at this line up here look at this 831 or 835 I mean 835 that's that's massive this thing looks like it, this could be end up a, a nice swing trade uh, action and so I drew that line right up here at that uh, 517 uh, as a as a high and it has some spots where it's hit that level so we'll keep that in mind but uh, I mean there's no doubt that this could end up breaking if it continues upward and uh, you're sim you're kind of seeing that similar formation there uh, with the trend line as it heads up and it's you know what I mean it's kind of mm, heading that way but uh I'm gonna pull that away here I'm gonna show you this level right yeah so that 496 was a level as well and it's not quite using it anymore it's really set one right there that is a solid level right there uh, so 476 it seems to come in so here's the thing this thing breaks 517 see you later all right if it continues up through there and it's got this here's something you can look at and uh, let me give you the, the, the trend lines here you can kind of see that it's like even in the after hours it's kind of setting up this right here which means it's gonna make a decision probably tomorrow sometime pre-market in my opinion this is in my opinion now all right all right and uh looks like we got some uh, some peeps in the live chat i'm gonna, I'm gonna pop, make sure this has popped out this chat because I know it was having some issues before. So uh, if you're in here, come on in and say hi. Feel free to introduce yourself in the live chat. I want to pop it out so I can be able to see. Because I know there was there was some chats that came across the last time that for some reason wasn't showing up. And I don't understand why. Uh, but uh, so there's that. So you're welcome to come in and say hi if you have any questions. Uh, but this is, a uh, again, levels for Ebon tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow, check this out. Uh, level right now at uh, 476 is a solid level of support resistance setting about 518 if it breaks resistance that thing can still run I mean look at this thing. I mean, it's there's a really big level 835 So I mean this could be a solid buy-in swing trade for the near future of uh, if it runs back up again uh, So I have to keep an eye on that uh, but I do like this. Uh, this is going to be one that I'm going to solidify into what I consider my day trade and my swing trade list check that out uh, Ebon, getting it done, getting on the list. There we go. All right, now the next one. Here we go. It's BTX. BTX, Brian, what's up? I see you in the live chat. How you doing? I'm live from the hotel right now. Hotel in Florida. S sunny Florida, by the way. It is. Sun oh, I don't know. Hold on a minute. Let's look at the window. I'm gonna look out the window here. Okay. All right. It was. It was sunny. There's uh there's some weather in the area and that's that's why uh, the family ran to the pool instead of us going to get dinner. Uh, I think we're gonna order uh order some pizza into the hotel room. Uh, but I see you on the live chat there, Brian. Uh, welcome to the welcome to the show. If you haven't hit the uh that sub button, make sure you click that. Uh, I'm on on vacation this week, so I'm trying to get trying to get the show in, trying to get uh, at least something out there for you all to check out. Uh, but so each night, come on in and. Uh, uh, I'm, I was going to do it at 9 p.m., but I thought today, you know, we are kind of changed our schedule a little bit. So um, you never know. I might pop on. So somebody click that sub button if you get an alert. Uh, and you can come in and check it out uh, live. Uh, if you can't, then you can uh, watch the video tomorrow uh, or tonight, whatever time, you know, you get a chance to watch it and, uh, and be all filled in. So let's go next to the next one. BTX. BTX. Where you at? 
BTX. All right, BTX. This is Brooklyn in uh, Immunotherapeutics. Uh, it's, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm a little you know, on this 899 run up here uh, usually, but uh, but this thing. Ooh. So as I pull out, this has had a really nice ascending level. Let's take a look at it here. This is over days, right? This is on the hour chart. So we're moving up in the hour chart. And then, hold on, let's look at the daily. So it had a, a huge rundown, right? It looks like I uh, previously charted. I did. I think I think I charted this on, on uh, I'm pretty sure I charted this last week. And it was on a downward trend. And then it looks like it followed it. I uh, went right up and per broke through that through that trend, so it's it's starting to break through. This thing's got a nice run up. I mean, you can see, look, boom, boom, starting to come up. And this is again, this is a daily chart, so this might be another swing trade too. Uh, this could be a constant run up here. Let's see. As we go back to the hour chart, uh, you can clearly see that it is setting up nicely. Got a little bit, and and I'm gonna chart this look at this yeah that's a nice channel right there oh that's pretty all right in my opinion i'm just saying it's in this it's it's it. this right here is an upward ascending level it just broke through all right so the, the it's it's heading the right direction it broke through. It looks like it broke through on uh, on Friday. It smashed right on through there. So here's the question. Is it going to false break and come back down into here? But I wouldn't say because based on this sitting level of support, it'll continue up. Uh, Brian says, is uh, Ebon and BTX part of some list? Okay, so yes, uh, I have a list. So to explain what I'm finding here, what I got here, uh, Brian. Uh, so these I actually wrote down. These are my list right here. Uh, so these... Uh, I have a stock screener. If you look at my uh, description, there's a thing called Benzinga Pro. Uh, so I uh, I use that. It has a stock screener on it. I set that stock screener up. I have uh, specific uh, things that I put in there and punch in, uh, and it spits out stocks. And what I do is I go through and I look at them based on these uh, specifics, uh, these technical analysis specifics, and, uh, and then it spits them out. And then I go in and I look at them, which is what I'm doing right now for you, is uh, – I'm checking them out, and I'm, I want to see, okay, how is this moving, all right? Is this even a good – basically what I'm doing is uh, it's a process of elimination, all right? So I bring them in, so I have this many stocks, and I'm going to basically cut out the ones I don't like. And uh, if it looks kind of eh, whatever, no, they're, see you later. But if it looks good, and I chart it, I'm thinking, okay, this is something pretty decent, uh, then, then I add it to my list, uh, and then I'm gonna, I've given levels. So these are like levels you want to check out, right? So uh, in the near future, ideally, based on what I'm uh, showing you here on these chart patterns, is uh, is where you could possibly potentially buy in or sell uh, based on my opinion. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, so you got to make your decision if you want to do that or not, right? Like there's no guarantees. And the other thing is some of these, I'll chart them. They may not even follow that chart pattern uh, as in, as in like, what I mean by charted is like I'll give you levels and sometimes it won't break those levels. So like if it breaks that level and it goes up, to ideally it goes. Now this this stock's a little different. This one's been on a pattern, right? This isn't been, this isn't just like these. You got to remember, this is a one hour chart. Each one of these little black and purplish, bluish lines here, these are, uh, these are all days, right? So this is over time. If you go back, this is what? This starts end of March. So this is end of March all the way until now. Uh, so, I mean, basically through the end of March and April, this thing has just started moving upward. Now, like I said, if we go on the day chart and we look at it in the grand scheme of things over day, each one of these candles are a day. It was all heading downward. And it's been like right along this line all the way down until, look, until Friday. Friday, it broke that level. Now, the question is, stocks have the tendency to do what they call a false break. Well, they'll run up and then they'll come back down. All right. But here's the kicker with this one. It's on an ascending level of support. So it would have to break this line going up here. All right. 
So like if it if it falls below this and comes in, it would have to break this to come back down. If not, then it sends up the level. It's just gonna break it, and then once it breaks that channel, it's just gonna go. Uh, so Brian says, "Got you, got you. Thanks for clearing that up. No problem." Uh, so anyway, that's that's where this is at right now. This is a little different, but uh, this is a good setup for a good swing trade. Uh, so I would literally say add to watch list and look at that. It was already look at that. It's already starred. That was already on my swing trade list. That right there, I, I'm almost positive on Friday, I said get into this. I, I, I bet if I go back and watch my show from Friday, this was on my list. And said a potential, potential swing trade. And sure enough, it broke it and it went through. Like, like honestly, if I would have bought it in Thursday night, because I did the show Thursday night. Uh, so this is Friday you're looking at, the 16th. And I did the show right around in here, okay? So, <laughs> that's epic. That's absolutely epic. Uh, so, if uh, if anybody bought into that uh, from from my show or whatever that I did on Thursday, uh, congratulations, you made some money on Friday. So, uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked about that. So, BTX! BTX! Uh, and it's uh, it's gonna be again. It's on both. It's gonna be on my swing trade and my day trade list. That baby is uh, definitely something that is in my swing trade, day trade list. I I would uh, personally, I think this is a, a great opportunity in my opinion. Uh, going forward, it looks like it could continue upward. Uh, so there you go, Brian. I got you. I got you. Uh, so let's see here. I'm gonna go to the next one now. Uh, we got a LFMD. LFMD. Uh, convergent, convert, oh, I can't even talk. Conversion Labs. All right, Conversion Labs. All right, so let's look at it on the one hour chart. So it's set up fairly nicely on the one hour chart. Uh, this thing has been coming pretty solid down, but it looks like it more or less hit bottom and it's starting to come back up. All right, so uh, let's look at it this way. I'll go to the horizontal line. We're going to set it right at the high, 1036. We're going to set at the solid uh, support line, which has been, looks like, right here. That's pretty solid at 954. So ideally, it's in this channel right now, uh, but it is heading upward. So what I would potentially do, and considering this thing has been coming, so let's, let's trend this thing. So right there, that's been kind of a trend line. Very simple, right in that area. So what I'd do is I'd watch it and see if this thing maybe breaks this trend line. Because uh, uh, this right here is a high, which it breaks it, it could run up. Which it probably, considering, if it breaks this, uh, let's see, what is that, 1037. It breaks 1037. Uh, you're looking somewhere in the ballpark of 1085 maybe uh, for it to stop. And come back now if it uh, based on that now if it uh, breaks both see you later good night peace that's going uh going to the moon so Brian says great job great job <laughs> I pat myself on the back <laughs> I got you as I as I pull out the 7-eleven slurpee ah, so good yeah I'm telling you I, I I am not endorsing this whatsoever this is just I there's no 7-elevens where I live at where I live at, there's no 7-Eleven, so we, you know, we get a chance to go somewhere, and there's a 7-Eleven, I'm getting a Slurpee. Like, it's gonna have, it's like Slurpees are like the thing. Uh, funny story, I was in Florida on 7-Eleven, uh, July 11th, which is my brother's birthday. I was in Florida, seven, uh, was, I was a kid, it was me and my buddy, uh, we're, we're down here, we, might, we come down to visit family, and, uh, my buddy came with us, I, he, he actually came down with us, and, uh, <laughs> on 7-Eleven, they used to do, I don't know if they still do, but they did this uh, thing where it's like free Slurpees all day. And so, here, uh, here we're at in Orlando, there's 7-Elevens all, I mean like on like every street. Like they're everywhere. Uh, so every time you come into 7-Eleven, you got a free Slurpee. So like we hit up like every, every time we saw a 7-Eleven, uh, me and my, bu uh, me and my buddy was like, 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven. We stopped, we drank, we drank a Slurpee. I had probably... 25 slurpees that day my parents were tired of going to 7-elevens but it was funny and we did it so we hit like every 7-eleven in orlando i felt like uh but here we are in orlando again and i'm drinking my slurpee 
I'm 7-Eleven, so I'm pouring one out for the old memories from when I was a child. Uh, and uh, what makes it even better is this was the first Slurpee that my, my daughter, who's a, who's a year and a half, she ever had. All right, so uh, we stopped, we got it. Uh, she woke up in the back seat, and I said, you know what, I don't think she's ever had a Slurpee. And my, my wife's like, you know, maybe we should do this. So, uh, so I take, and uh, I was like, here, here, try to check it. So she, she, she starts to drink, comes with a straw, and all of a sudden she's like, ooh, like it's like cold, you know, like, ooh, it's cold. And then she was like, mm, that's good. Guess what? I almost lost my Slurpee because she wanted to drink it then. So uh, so found out my uh, my daughter is on the Slurpee train. <laughs> so it's been eventful already today. Uh, and uh, but we're, we're we're having fun. The wedding last night was great. We had a, I went came down for my my uh, cousin's wedding. It was beautiful. They are married under this uh, like those uh, I don't know what you, it's it's not palm trees. They're like the it's out in the country and it's like those they almost look like oh I don't know they're like these big just willow style trees right from like the south. I don't know what they call those, but uh. But like there was all these like it was out all country right all country and they had this seating that was made with this island I mean legitimately like was made for weddings, but it was like uh, just gorgeous like I told my wife because we got we got married in like a building right like a in a a, a marriage place and it was just absolutely uh, it says I'm jealous there aren't any 7-Elevens in the Midwest surprised you didn't get sick from all the slurpees I know right. <laughs> Well, that's what I said, you know, I'm from, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, so, you know, coming down to visit family, like, I get a champ draw. There are no, there's hardly, there's no 7-Elevens in the Midwest. I'm like, where's the 7-Elevens? Uh, my, uh, now, uh, there's one right down the street from my, my brother, brother and sister-in-law. Uh, they live in Michigan, and uh, there's one right down the street from them. And I was like, oh, oh you're so lucky you got a 7-Eleven. And then you can walk from their house to the 7-Eleven. It's that close. It's like right around the corner. Uh, from their subdivision, and I'm like, man, if that if that was, if I lived that close, I'd be walking to 7-Eleven every day, every day. Uh, yeah, you could call me Jay and Silent Bob. I'd be sitting right out that store drinking that Slurpee. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, it's it, it's been it's been good so far. The flight was great. My uh, my daughter flew for the first time, and uh, honestly, she slept the whole flight. So it's been uh it's been nice. It's been a nice trip so far, and uh, this, the uh, the resort here is nice that we're at. It's it's pretty sweet. Uh, the pool looks amazing. I haven't been there yet. I mean, I've seen it, but I haven't like went and jumped in it yet. So, all right, once we get off of this show, I'm gonna go down there and go get in the pool. I'm getting in the pool. Well, at least before the weather gets bad. Uh, so anyway, back to it. Back to it. Uh, L M F or uh, L F M D, and uh, those are the levels right there for you. I would keep an eye on that. Uh, as we move on to the next one, uh, so if I just recap real quick, 954, 1037, and then watch this line coming down. Uh, so there's that. Uh, then uh, here we go on uh, the next one. That's uh, S-T-O-N. S-T-O-N. By the way, if you want to check out Benzinga Pro, there's a link, uh, link in the description uh, if it works. If it doesn't work, let me know and I'll fix it. But there's a, And if not, you can go to my previous videos or... And, um, it's in the description in those, but there's a link, uh, to Benzinga Pro. Uh, I got set up for a two week free trial. There's no credit card required or anything. Just email address. You can log in and they have this news feed here. That's updated daily. Uh, it's live real time, which I use during uh, my regular stock show. Uh, they also have, uh, the, uh, stock screener. They have my movers and gainers tool, like all kinds of really cool tools that I use for, uh, for trading. Uh, so you're more welcome to check that out. I mean, all you have to do is click my little link, go in, email address, whatever, two-week free trial, and you can check it out. It's pretty sweet. Uh, so anyway, next one, S-T-O-N. Oh, it looks, I mean, we're getting, we got some decent ones right now. I mean, as far as levels are, are concerned. Uh, let's see here. I mean, this one's not terrible at all either. Sometimes I, I'll get I'll get like a span where there'll just be like a whole bunch of terrible ones where I'm just like, man, like somebody give me something. This is this is like nothing here. Uh, so you can see uh, right here at 227. Uh, looks like right here was the bottom. Setting a floor right there. Which you can see it's kind of in that channel there. 
I had a little bit of a run up too as well and looks like it's setting trend line here. A trend line there. And we got a trend line right there. So there you go. There's the levels to watch on that. It's pretty 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 well solid. I mean it's kind of hanging. So if this thing uh Continue. So here's what you want to watch. This is kind of like a stair step pattern. So like, uh, it's like kind of coming up and then over. Uh, so what you watch is like, it may break this, but if it if it does break it, uh, it'll come and maybe bounce and go back up. But this thing could actually move sideways and then move its way back up here, uh, and then this would be your top right there. So I, in my opinion, uh, this is one of those ones where you might see it kind of go na 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 na. Or go flat all the way through the pre-market and then jump up in the market open. So keep your eye on that. Uh, S-T-O-N. I uh, see 209. Uh, 227. And then you got your ascending levels that you can draw. And this is all on the one-hour chart. Uh, you're more welcome to follow along and uh, draw these lines right along with me and set this up. You can set alerts, by the way, in uh, Weeble. Uh, Weeble has an alerts uh, setup that you can do. You can click like right here where it says actions and click alert. And then uh, it lets you allow to set up alert, and that'll come right to you. As soon as uh, it hits a certain, you can set it for a high, set it for a low. Hey, if it hits this, it hits that, alert me. So you can set alerts up. Uh, so there you go, S-T-O-N. That, that one's going to make uh, easily make uh, my uh, my day and possible swing trade list right there. Uh, so uh, S-T-O-N. Now uh, the next one, M-T-S-L. M-T-S-L. And uh, MTSL, eh, I do not like that one. No, thank you. Sorry, you're not making my list. All right. Oh, that. So this is when you. This is the ones that don't make my list. Right. It's. It, it looks like a roller coaster. <laughs> Coming down. You know. What I'm saying? This thing is. Uh, this. This is kind of more like the pump and dump stuff. Now, you're seeing it. It does set a solid floor. I mean, there is a floor there. Right. I mean, it doesn't mean it can't go up. But uh, ideally, when you see something uh, that closes, for, like basically just goes down <laughs> like that, not usually one that's going to skyrocket to the moon by any means, okay? Because it already had its thing. It already had its moment. So, uh, Carlos! Yo! What's up, man? I see you, Carlos. Hey, I'm in Florida! I'm drinking a 7-Eleven right now. We don't even have a uh, Slurpee. Actually, I just finished it. It's all gone. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to go to the 7-Eleven right up the street. Right up the street. Ah. I got to get another one. I got to get another one of those. Carlos is uh, in Florida. Carlos is Naples. Naples. You're, you're a few hours south of me right now. And, uh... Oh, man. That weather is not looking too hot right now. That weather's not looking as good as it was a little bit ago. It was really nice a little bit ago. Uh, so, hey, I jumped in here a little early tonight because I was going to try to get down to the pool. Of course, it uh, looks like I'm going to get rained out now. Uh, but uh, the fam, they, they came in and they are like, see you later. We're going we're going to the pool. Bye-bye. Uh, so I'm sure they're having some fun right now at the pool. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, ATNF, I'll check that out here in just a minute. Let me get through these last couple right here, Carlos, and I'll check them out. It's an MTSL. Oh, yeah, this one's gone. No, thank you. We're moving on. EFOI. I only got two more. EFOI. And uh, this one. Mm. Yeah. I... Mm. Yeah, I don't really. I don't. It G dubbed over a couple days. This one's kind of sporadic. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one either. All right, so I'm going to move off, off off of this one. Uh, KBSF. Some charts I just, I when I see them, I'm just like, this is not what I wanted. Uh, KBSF. I did type that right. KBSF. Refresh. Uh, yeah, this one's... Yeah, this one's very similar to that other one. It, it, I mean, it, it's... Hmm. There's a chance. I mean, this might be a swing trade, possibly. I mean, this is like... It's just kind of similar to that one. It said a real... It, it was real close to a low. And now it's kind of heading off that low. So if we... 
Let's trend line this thing. So you can see, right there, it broke through. So it was coming down, and then it just broke through. All right, so now it's heading upward. Of course, right there is a level. That's not where we want it. Let's go. Where's the hole? Right there's the level. Mm -hmm. What's this setting up to? Hmm. Right in there seems to be pretty close to another one. But, uh, so this might be one to kind of run up and pop out. You want to check it. Uh, obviously, this was the high up here. Uh, so a long way away from that. Uh, but again, you can come down to this right here. And it's very close to being a solid level right there. So maybe watch that. This is kind of in that heading back upward. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I might make this more of like a swing trade kind of thing, but you could possibly day trade this. It's it's potential. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So there you go. KBSF is the last one. There's some levels for you. 278, 306. I'm not a huge fan, but this is something that could go in the future. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, that's all my day trade list for right now. All right. So I'm a Carlos. I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna do it for you. ATNF. <laughs> Actually, uh, let's chart. Let's chart ATNF for you right now. Let's chart this for you. All right. Let's let's just because. <laughs> Carlos, it's heading in the right direction for you there, buddy. If you're short in the stock. <laughs> It's heading in the right direction if you shorten it. Right there. Well, here's your... Uh... <laughs> Let's look out on the day chart. It was falling along that one trend line. Did this Wait, where did this trend line come from? Did I draw that before or did it... No. That thing's all jacked up. It had to get moved. Let's get rid of this thing. This thing's not working. But yeah, it's coming down, Carlos. Heading down. ATNF. And then he says, uh, HOFV. And that's what I was talking about earlier. HOFV. Oh. If we go to it. If we go to my show stacks. We go to it. I've seen it. Oh. It's still falling along that line. 294. Are you kidding me? It went to 294. Literally 294. <laughs> oh, Carlos said, I said it's running to the center of the earth. <laughs> uh, Brian says, do you think Spax will make a comeback? Oh, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I, I think all stocks have their, 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 their highs and their lows right they all you know everything tends to have its point of uh of where it just dies and then tries so <laughs> that's a good question brian <laughs> i wish i had a better answer for you <laughs> i'm gonna have to look at my crystal ball oh that magic age magic eight ball didn't work <laughs> it didn't answer <laughs> brian's like well that was helpful <laughs> <laughs> oh but uh but yeah you can see that i've been charting the bejesus out of this thing <laughs> been charting the bejesus out of this uh look at all those levels for you on hofv look at all that man i was
Well, it's kind of stair-stepping down there. So, uh, I'm almost nervous. Carlos, I'm almost nervous tomorrow when I go to SeaWorld to see where HOFV is going because it's not going in the right direction right now. I do not like it at all. I mean, the bottom is 109. But at some point, it's got to, I mean, I mean, it breaks... Mm. Let's see here. If you really want to look at it, right there. There's a solid level right there at 281. After that, it's not, I mean, that's solid because look, you hit it here. They hit it here, they hit it here, they hit it there. So 281 has been hit a whole bunch of times. Even over here it hit. So 281 is key, all right? If it breaks 281, Carlos, if it breaks 281, it's going, like, it's literally digging to the center of the earth. So uh, if it breaks 281, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> and my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about that, Carlos. What do you think? 281. 281. But if it turns around, it continues back upward. So let's see when that, where that looks like based on that trend line. Based on my trend line, if it continues downward, 281 would be... So this is, this is going to be Monday. This is going to be Tuesday. So it looks like sometime, basically, tomorrow or the next day, HOFV is going to test somewhere in this range, unless it breaks. Now, if tomorrow it breaks and it goes out, see you later, good night. Uh, but, man, I'm wondering if, uh, I'm wondering if one got in, got in on that on, uh, on Friday. I'm just curious. So, uh, yeah, I would have been at the airport <laughs> when all this is going on right here. <laughs> or headed to the airport, at least. When that was happening, and uh, but hey, when I was uh, when I was on the plane, it was uh, moving good. When I was on the plane, uh, so there's that. And uh, yo, Carlos, y'all see Doge? Look at Doge! Look at this thing! I'm like, what? I I'm so I'm so I mean I'm just looking at the day chart. Well, it's, you gotta look at it on the hour chart. So, look at this. I sold that last week. I sold Doge last week for seven cents. I wanna lose my mind. <laughs> I just lose my mind when I seen how high it went. I was like, what? And now it's at 32. Oh. Man, I could have made so much money on Doge. And I and I I I paper hands it. I paper hands the Doge. Ah! Don't ever do that again. Don't ever do that. By the way, I do have a funny story that happened today for those of you that uh, for some of my peeps. All right, I, I have a funny story as uh, I'm getting uh close to that hour mark. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna try to do about an hour long show, and so we're getting we're getting close. I started at seven ten, so. I'm going to take this uh, right right around 8 o'clock. But uh, Brian says, I sold 80,000 Doge when it hit 10 cents. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. What are you doing? Oh, I know, right? Oh, it's all good, though. But uh, so funny story. I'm driving here today. And... Uh, so I set up because you know to go from uh, to go from where my uh, my aunt lives. I went and visited with my aunt today, um, and uh, so I visited my aunt today. And then we uh, we're on our way here, and uh, I set up to where I, I didn't have to hit the toll roads because I know there's a lot of toll roads toll, toll roads in Florida uh, with our rental car. It's kind of a yeah. I got another story about that too with my my rental car. Um, 
Uh, I'll tell you that. So I got two stories to tell you. Just a little update on what what's happened so far on the trip. All right, because I had to give you all some updates. Uh, trip updates. You got, I mean, I gotta, I'm in Florida, all right? I got to give you updates. So, uh, so I'm driving, and uh, and uh, my wife is on the phone with a rental car company, and I, I'll tell you that story in a minute. When she's on the phone, I'm trying to, like, listen to it, what she's, like, saying. So I, I, I'm not really paying attention to the GPS. And uh, we've been on this road, and it's, like, a straight shot road for a while. Uh, and again, it's nice to, if you ever do it, you can do it in your uh, GPS hit avoid tolls. It'll take you on some scenic routes and sometimes you'll see stuff that's like super nice. So anyway, I, I'm driving us long road and we've been doing it for a while and, and not really paying attention. And then I happened to just look down and notice, uh, cause I was trying to listen in, uh, to the call. I, uh, I looked down and notice, oh man, I need to get over and get over to take this exit. And so I, I, I can't get over as this, this truck comes up. And I'm like, I can't get over. And then by the time I go to get over, there's a wall, like a wall. So it's not like you can't just go, like there's a wall there. So I'm like, ah. Oh. So I can see where I'm supposed to be, but there's a wall. And so I go past it. So I had to go up, hit the red light, and uh, wait at the world's longest red light to turn around. And then wait on it again when I finally turned around and got turned, wait on it again. So then I come back. And all right, I'm going to show you exactly what happened. All right. So. So right here, I don't know if you can, how well you can see it. Let me see if I can pull this up on my screen so I can see it a little better. All right. So look, this is what happened. All right. So I'm I'm here. Hold on. Let me get it. I'm driving. This is like a weatherman up to here. I had to do this loop de do just to get back on the road because they didn't they didn't uh, they didn't uh, stink and have it to where you could turn right or left. So I ended up having to go through the loop de doo go around, take the other loop de doo go around, take the third loop de doo just to go the way I needed to go. <laughs> like, what in the world? My my wife's holding the, you know, the old bleep handle, you know, the, the kid in the car is like, whoa, uh, whoa, dad, whoa, dad, we're taking all these curves. I was like, I was at the, the at the speedway. <laughs> Going around in circles. It... it <laughs> <laughs> oh it was it was priceless oh it was priceless uh just to get just to get around to the go to the right way all because i missed that one exit uh so i had to go like you know pretty so almost pretty well did almost a four leaf clover there uh just to go just to go in the right direction uh but anyway and then uh here's the other story all right so we did have one one little thing that has been a, a negative on the trip. And it's one of those things that just kind of eats at you because it's like, and and, uh, and it's no, really nobody's fault, but it happened. So we're, uh, we're driving down the road. We're on the highway. I'm in the, in the middle lane. And uh, keep in mind, I'm in a rental car, right? So we got a rental car. Uh, it's a fairly new rental car. I think it's like 20,000 miles on this rental car. Uh, so it's super nice We're driving it. I'm in the middle lane. All of a sudden, uh, I see up like kind of, kind of just real quick. I mean, this is real fast. Like it's all happened in a matter of like 10 seconds. I see something in the fast lane that's in a road. Well, there's no alert, no alert on the GPS or anything. There's something in the road. It looks like about a six inch by like two inch piece of wood that might have like fell out of a truck. Well, this truck speeds by me in the fast lane. And literally, the back tire hits it, hits it, and it's shot out almost like a baseball at a uh, batting cage. It shot out like a hundred mile an hour. <sighs> like it, this is on the highway, all right. It's like on the highway, uh, outside of Tampa. Like we're on the interstate, and it just flies back, and bam, hits the side of the of the vehicle, uh, right on the on the driver's side back door, and puts a golf ball sized dent into the back end on the side of our rental car so now <laughs> so now we're dealing with the rental car company and the insurance company and we're trying to figure out what to do because the person that hit it with the vehicle i've read in some states they're responsible however they didn't know so they just kept going they're gone so so it's all on us <laughs> luckily i have full coverage insurance so we're good but uh but I, the biggest issue is how much is it going to cost to fix it 
versus how much the deductible is for insurance. So we're in that little weird kind of thing where you might just end up having to pay to have it fixed. But it's a dent about this big, and it's in a real car, and I'm like, blah. So that's been the only, so far, the only bad thing that's happened on the trip. Knock on wood. There you go. Alright, so that's uh, that's my stories. That's my, that's my updates. Uh, right here uh, on the channel. We're just uh, a minute past uh, 8, so we're just shy. We're almost into an hour. We've almost been doing the show for an hour. Uh, so I'm going to shoot a big thank you to Carlos and Brian in the live chat. I know there might be a couple more people in here too as well checking it out. Uh, but uh, I just want to say... Uh, I do miss doing a show with y'all. I miss it. I mean, it, we do it each day. We have fun with it and that. Uh, but I am enjoying my family. Uh, and uh, about to hop off here. About to go get some pizza. By the way, I, I finished my diet and I've been eating like a pig. I had seafood the other day. Oh, it was so good. Oh, fried fish. It was amazing. Uh, so, but, uh, but Carlos, real quick, says check out Litecoin. I seen that. Litecoin. Let's look at Litecoin real fast. This is I'm in at 182, 182. You get a almost a hundred. You almost got a hundred dollar gain. Get it? Look at look at the 335 up there. That's massive on Litecoin. Uh, Brian says I doubled, double thought. Wait, double. I doubled thought since I got it at five cents. Oh, got you. I see what you're saying. I got you, Brian. I was you talking about earlier. I was a little behind on getting your message there. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, shoot out. Thank you to both of you for coming to live chat and saying hi. Uh, thank you to each and every one of you to get the chance to see the video. Again, make sure you click that like button. Uh, I, it does help out. Uh, click the like button. Uh, it helps the algorithm. It helps uh, YouTube. Uh, shoot me up in the list and get me to move up. And... Uh, Again, thank you to each one of my subs. If you haven't subbed already, please subscribe. I usually do the show all the way for Barkit Open through Barkit Close. And uh, currently live from the hotel room. Woohoo! In, uh, in Florida. And uh, so I uh, got my day trades and my day trade list. So I uh, should be here tomorrow. I'm going to try my best to uh, get in here sometime. Uh, sometime tomorrow evening. We're going to SeaWorld tomorrow. So we're going to SeaWorld. So it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, probably be closer to 9 p.m. tomorrow for sure. Uh, today I jumped in a little bit early. Uh, but uh, but thank you to each and every one of you for coming in. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join the show and follow along. If you need a recap or to know which one of these stocks are, uh, make sure you, okay, you, know, you can always rewind back and check those out. Write those down on your list. Get those alerts. Get those numbers. And, and uh, feel free to share the link out. Let some people know. Uh, and I will see you all again. Tomorrow, I'll give you the SeaWorld update. I'm going to try to use my all-you-can-eat pass. I know I was just talking about food. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat as much as I can tomorrow at SeaWorld. All-you-can-eat. I'm tearing it up. I'm going to be a blimp when I come on here. By the way, too, look at my hair. It's all spiked up. <laughs> I got all spiked up like a razor. <laughs> yeah, for some of you that's been watching my show, you know I'm talking about hair is all jacked up. Now it's all, I'm looking fresh. I'm fresh and ready to rock. But uh, Brian, Brian says good stuff. Have a safe rest of your trip. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to each one of you. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night right here, live from the hotel room. This is Corey signing off for Pop the Chart. Bye.